Hey guys, how you doing? We are going to do some magazine fitment testing on the Palmetto State um, AKP uh, pistol uh, because not all magazines fit all AK47 designs, AKMs, whatever you want to call them. So the magazine that comes with this little guy is the Magpul magazine and it fits in there like a glove. No wiggle whatsoever. If you hear anything, it's just the spring inside here. So I got a few other magazines and I'm definitely not a very extremely knowledgeable guy on this magazine came from this plant, this magazine came from this country. I'm, I'm gonna do my best shot for a few of these and some of them I know what they are. Some of them I don't know 100% about. You guys can help me down in the comment section. So let's start with some uh, Bulgarian Waffle Circle 10 magazines. Let's see if those fit. Holy smokes. Yep, doesn't look like it at all. And these are really nice magazines. You can check it out with a few other YouTube guys that are uh, deeper and down the uh, AK-47 rabbit hole than I am. These Bulgarian Circle 10s, they are super nice. I got four of them here. This one did not work at all whatsoever. These are uh, steel reinforced polymer. Oop, and that one fit just fine. Little tight, no wobble. And the steel that reinforces here, steel, uh, steel back part here. Um, yeah, that one actually fit tight, but it works. Locks up super tight, no wiggle. So that one worked. Let's try this one. Another Bulgarian Circle 10. Not happening. Not even close. And let's try number four. Nope. Nope, not even going to happen. All right, so this Bulgarian Circle 10 works just fine. These three don't work at all. So we got that figured out. So one out of four of the Bulgarian Waffle Circle 10s work. Uh, next one, uh, cheaper kind, Tapco. Here's a Tapco. It's been inserted probably maybe two or three times. And then I got one that I've used for years. Uh, these, uh, contrary to popular belief, I really like using these. Uh, they're cheap. You can get them for cheap. Uh, some places are starting to hike their prices up now um, due to the uh, the band scare. And I, I think I saw a place that was trying to sell these for about $28, $29 a piece. Um, and you can generally find a place uh, $8 a piece on these. Anyhow, these ones are going to be cage code. Let's see if I can get that in focus. 3 Echo 207. And uh, let's make sure that both of them are that cage code. I believe they are. Yeah. And so these are a, uh, they look like a glass fiber reinforced polymer. I'm not 100% sure on that. I haven't taken any apart or done the glass test. So here's the one that's hardly been used. Ooh, see that locks up in there, but that doesn't really, yeah, it's really not a positive lock on this Tapco. Now, usually what you do with these, these Tapco ones is you file them down as needed. You can see this one's been filed. And, ugh. Yeah, no, it kind of locks up. But not really, uh, I wouldn't trust that. Yeah, I don't know. So if you do get the Tapcos, you're probably going to have to file on them. Take a little bit off of the front or the, or the back, wherever it's, you know, not locking in. This They, they do make a pretty tight hole on these ones. Sorry for the focus, guys. All right, so we're going back to Bulgaria. Uh, these Bulgarian magazines, the, uh, these are a polymer. I don't believe these have a reinforced lug here on the rear, but they do have reinforced feed lips, steel reinforced feed lips. And they do have the uh, bullet motif on the side. Let's see if these work. Yeah, that's perfect. That one works. If I can actually operate this properly. There we go. Yeah, super tight. Works. Let's try this other Bulgarian one, polymer. And these ones are just commercial mags. Obviously, these aren't. Yeah, yeah, one works just fine. And you guys tell me what you think of these. I haven't run these at all. Um, you guys let me know what you think of them. 
Uh, next, let's try an old tried and true Tula Bakelite magazine, otherwise known as Orange Gold because the prices for these are just insane right now. Or, uh, you know, a uh, phenolic resin magazine. Nice lockup. God, that was almost perfect. Yeah, I really, wow. That is really impressive, actually. That's like hand and glove. Wow. Okay, so yeah, um, bake lights fit awesome. Uh, let's try Arsenal. Arsenal's mag. Oh, for crying out loud, the focus. Arsenal's magazines. This is just a little five rounder. Let's see how they fit. Oh, it fits really nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, awesome. All right, so the Arsenal magazine works. Next, we're going to do... Oh, yeah, okay. So this is a Chinese flatback. So we're going to try a Chinese flatback magazine. Oh, yeah, fits in there nice and tight. I like that. All right, cool. So Chinese flatbacks work nice. Yeah, that actually fits really nice. All right, cool. So Chinese flatback. Oh, let's do a drum. Chinese drum. Uh, let's see. Factory 36. Let's try the Chinese drum. Ooh. Yep. Not even close. Not even remotely close to locking up in there. All right. Chinese drum, not going to happen. All right. Let's try a Yugoslavian surplus bolt hold open magazine coming out of Yugoslavia <sighs> barely uh, <sighs> well they do work but they don't work like they should be intended so maybe a little bit of a fitment on there and that's yeah that's the next question that everyone's going to be asking is you know what do you do do you file on your on your firearm, do you file on your magazine? That's that's a road everyone's gonna have to come to on their own. Um, whether they wanna, you know, take a little bit off of here, inside their magazine, and this little lever here, or if they wanna give this a little touch up, or if the sides aren't fitting, or whatever it might be. So, another source of contention around the AK campfire, the Made in Croatia Bolt Hold Open magazines. These are a great budget option. They do have a Bolt Hold Open follower. Um, a lot of people like them. A lot of people hate them. A lot of people say they don't fit anything. A lot of people say they fit their guns just fine. I have had great success with these, running them in Arsenal uh, AK-47s. And uh, they work great. I've, I've kind of beaten these into the ground, and I've never had a problem. Doesn't mean I won't, but I've never had a problem with them. Let's see how they fit. Ooh. Nope. Not even close. I got three of them here. We can try all three. Nope. And when I use these on my arsenal, they do they are tighter fitting magazines, but they go in and come out really easy. Nope, the Croatian bolt hold opens will not work in this. Alright, another budget offering. Uh, I believe this is a Korean KCI magazine. Um, I haven't had a lot of issues with these. I have run them. This is a new one right out of the bag. The, uh, the interesting part about these is whatever they're painting these with is amazing. Uh, it's kind of like if any of you guys are into the off-road trucks or uh, dragsters or trailers or anything like that and use POR15, that chemical, that's what this is like dealing with. It's like POR15. And that's a nice, nice solid lockup. That actually feels really good. Yeah. I like that a lot. That actually fits really, really nice. So that's, I mean, you know, you might have some buddies or some purists that hate this, but uh, it fits really nice if you want to steal a magazine and you don't want to take out a second you know, mortgage on your house buying bake lights. KCIs seem to work pretty well. All right, on to, th I believe there's uh, three Romanians here. I've got uh, one gray park, and these two look like almost black oxide. I'm not sure if all three of these are Romanian or not. Um, these two are definitely the same, whatever they are. And this one's got a little bit different profile right in here. Um, so if anyone knows, let me know down in the comments. Here goes this one. 
perfect fit. Awesome. Nice tight lockup. Maybe a hair side to side play. Front to back's just a hair, but boy oh boy does it go in there nice and smooth. I like that. Alright. Uh, the two that are the same, they look Romanian and they look like they got more of a black oxide finish. They fit even better. Alright, cool. Awesome. All right, so yeah, these work awesome. Or that one does at least. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, even better. All right, and then yeah, obviously right back to the uh, the Magpul magazine which came with it, and that fits just amazing too. So yeah, so those are the mags that work and the mags that don't. I hope this helps someone out there. I know I had a guy that I actually know that was asking, hey, what works in these and what doesn't. So uh, I hope that helps him out too. Guys, remember that uh, loose is fast, brakes only slow you down, shotguns have a wider spread, be safe, have fun on the range, and uh, don't forget to oppose these crazy, crazy bills that they're trying to come up with and pass in the House and Senate. Don't forget to call your representative and oppose any and all gun control. So thanks for looking and watching the video, and uh, I hope to see you next time.